Right, so just been putting in these new LED bulbs. So this is from these are from classic car LEDs, which seem quite good. Not the sort of thing I would get on Amazon, but they are um, seem to be custom made. So this is for the side car front light. This is called a warm white, rather than that horrible white you can normally get. Um, so there you go. So that's that. Um, and we'll see that it looks like with the lens on. I haven't, oops, I haven't done the indicators yet because they're quite expensive. I might do that later. Anyhow, so that's what it will look like when it's that's assembled. Um, they do seem a bit brighter than the uh, normal incandescent bulbs. Um, we'll just move the camera have a look at the back. So this one is, um, zoom out a bit, right. so this is the, the double filament. So this is stop and rear light. I wanted a red one, but they didn't have red, uh, they're out of stock. So anyway, this is again, it's a warm white. The reason why it's warm white is because it's got the red colour in the spectrum, so it will go through the red lens. Um, let's put this on, I'm sure see what that's like. <coughs> uh, so, so there you go, and it, it's pretty much the same as a filament bulb. Um, I'm putting these on the Bantams, I've got a BSA Bantam, and I've decided to put the LED lighting on that as well, and I've got those, these warm white ones on the Bantam, um, because they do work with the red lenses. If it's pure, that hard white, it just doesn't come through the red filter. Anyway, so <coughs> that's the tail light, we'll, put the, we'll try the brake, that's what the brake looks like. Um, <coughs> We'll go to the other side. This is the rear of the bike. We've got two bulbs here, of course. We've got a BA9S um, single and then the brake light single. So again, that's the warm white. Uh, sorry, BA15S, same as this on the front of the side car. Uh, the top one is the brake light. Now this one is a red one. Let me just this out. So that's what that's like. And again, if we try it with the lens on, uh, it's down on from a drop off. So that's so that's how that goes. And this is a, a red, it's a rich red colour. So anyway, we'll see how we get on. Oh, I haven't done the indicator lamps yet, although I did have to take them out and clean them and stuff. I might get amber LEDs for these because I've got a couple for the trailer and they're really good. So I thought, well, if they're as good as that, then I'm definitely going to change them. So, um, so there you go. That's that. Uh, right, I'm going to screw it all together and put the covers on before it starts raining again, which should be later, apparently. See you later.